Okay, so I was playing around with my good old Metro Arms Firestorm Government Model Deluxe uh, the other day. And, you know, I'm checking it out and everything else. And I'm checking out a bunch of other 45s online. And I was thinking, these are kind of cool looking wood grips. But how cool would it be to change the grips on it? And I just happened to remember that I had a set of grips laying around. And they are these. These are a set of VZ grips, uh, Operator 2s. Uh, and I got these off of my old Springfield Armory gun. And these are these have a very aggressive pattern on it. I mean, it almost hurts your hand. So what I did is I took the grips and I put a, a, a piece of 600 like uh, sandpaper down. And I just kind of lightly went over them on both sides and now it's the noticeably better I mean these things would bite into your hands really really hard so I sanded them off and I also had uh, to make just a little tiny adjustment I don't know whether you can see it it's right up here it's had a lip right up here where it actually went over the little plunger between the grip safety and the slide release well it this actually contacted the slide release and I didn't really like that so I just took my Dremel and in about 15 or 20 seconds I took that down you can't even really notice and now we're gonna put these on the gun okay here we go we got some basic and these are the stock screws and they're just they're just regular screwdriver screws so we're just gonna carefully take these out because we don't want our screwdriver to slip and mar up the grips and we don't want to slip and damage the frame so we're just going to carefully take these out okay without getting too many shadows okay let's start there's one Okay. This side's the easy side. Just kind of slip it out. Okay. Now, here we go. This is a direct drop in. And it's kind of cool. I'm going to show you something in a few minutes that I discovered with these grips that actually allow you to make another modification to this gun. So we're just going to screw this one in there. And, and now if your screwdriver slips and it hits the VZ grip, these things are, you're not going to damage those. These are solid plastic or composition grips. And they are hard as a rock. Okay. Okay. That side's on. Turn our gun over. And for all you safety sallies out here, it is unloaded and the magazine is out. Okay. I'm going to take that one out and we drop it. That's nice. Now we're going to take the bottom one out. Because we don't really want to damage our nice wood grips. Because I might want to put them back on one of these days. Okay. And that one's out. It just comes right off. Now, I want to show you what I was talking about. First time I put this grip on, this little lip contacted the slide stop. So now you can't even really tell that i did a little bit of dremel surgery to it and now it does not contact the slide stop at all so now we're going to put our screws in i'm going to tighten them up i'm going to see how this feels Yeah. 
There's that one. Now, look at that. <laughs> wow, that totally transforms the look of the gun over the stock wood grips. I really like the stock wood grips, but I just happen to have these laying around. Uh, and now that I've sanded them off, they feel much better. You can actually see the imprints of the grips if I grip it tightly in my fingers. <laughs> These are very aggressive grips, but now that I sanded them off, they work great. Let's see how the slide stop works. Okay, that works good. Okay. Yep, the slide stop does not contact the upper side of the grip. That's wonderful. Ooh, a lot of you just threw up in your mouth a little bit right there. When I let this slide go on an empty chamber, Ooh, you just threw open your mouth a little bit more. But you know something? This gun can take it. John Browning didn't build no cream puff. This is a this is the 1911 government model. Now you don't want to make a constant habit of dropping the slide on an empty chamber, but a few times is not going to hurt this gun. All right. Now we go through the install of the VZ grips and I'm going to show you the before and the after. If you like the before, leave a comment and tell me how you like the before. If you like the after, leave a comment and tell me that you like the after. I kind of I kind of like the after. I, I you know I haven't shot it like this of course, but uh, another really really cool thing is I, ooh, I, don't, I almost forgot this. Now, when you put the gun on, I don't know whether you can see, but you can see a little space between the grip and the frame of the gun. The Operator 2's, this is already cut out. You can put a beveled magazine well in here too because it's already cut out. These grips, the wooden grips, sat flush. You would have had to modify these grips. Uh, but now, I could put a beveled magazine well on this. I can customize this gun a little bit more using these VZ grips. So, I'm gonna show you the before and after pictures. Tell me which one you like uh, more or which one you like less. Uh, I'm going to shoot this one like this and see how much it tears up my hands. Uh, hopefully it won't tear them up too much. But here we go. Installation. Easy installation of the VZ Operator 2 grips. Once again, this is Matt, the old Florida boy, saying I will see you on the trail.